you back to another episode of Genius Chef TV. Today, yes, I am filming. Sorry, I haven't been filming that much, but I'm gonna start off my holiday series um, with we're making chicken skewers today on the grill, and it's gonna be really fun. So let's get on to the video, right, guys. So the first step that we're gonna do is we're gonna make the marinade for the chicken. It's gonna soak into the chicken and make it so delicious. Right, so I have one large clove of um, garlic in my bowl and it's nice, finely chopped. I'm gonna add to it one tablespoon of lemon juice, half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, half a tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, one tablespoon of brown sugar, not raw sugar, brown sugar, three tablespoons of soya sauce, Two tablespoons of vegetable oil and one tablespoon of sesame oil. Guys, I can't remember this, sorry. <laughs> and then I have one tablespoon of grated ginger. I just want, I use the one from the squeezy packet. You can just grate your own. That's what we have in Australia and I just, I had it on hand so I just used that. Now we're gonna whisk it all up. And by the way, this is the sauce for the marinade which is gonna soak into the chicken and it's gonna be really delicious. Alright guys, now I'm just using a whisk to whisk all the marinade together. Why are there so many animals at my feet? I've got my dog here and I've got my cat here. Alright guys, so I've this set my marinade great. to the side and now we're going to look to the chicken. Um, originally, the recipe that I looked at, it had beef. Now, I had chicken on hand. I was like, why don't we just make it with chicken? It doesn't really matter. And then I have, I have, um, I have one, two, three, four, five breasts of um, chicken here, but um, you can use how many, as much as you want. I think five is good for the amount of um, marinade I made. You can add more marinade, you can make more, you can make less. It just really depends on who's eating and how much people are eating. So what I want to do is cube it up into small bite-sized, mm, not bite-sized, like good chunks of pieces to put on our skewer. All right, so I've done all of my chicken fillets and I'm going to bring my marinade over, get the whisk out, and I'm just going to add all these. Th see, this is the size that you probably want. See, it's like a nice bite-sized piece. And I'm going to add all of this into the marinade. And while I chop all my other ingredients, I'm going to let this sit a little bit so it gets more flavour in it. So I put clean wrap over the chicken and the marinade and I put it in the fridge while I prepare the other ingredients. Now, now is the time where you can do anything. You, I want to put red capsicum, green capsicum and red onion on my skewer, but I've seen people do pineapple. Personally, I don't want to put pineapple on my skewers, but apparently it's really, really nice. Um, yeah, you can really put whatever things you liked on skewers and I'm just going to chop these pretty fine. I'll show you how I do it. <clears throat> Stop. All right, guys, so for this size capsicum, I'm going to cut in three. So you want it to be the, probably the same size as your um, chicken, and that's for the, the same for the green um, capsicum and the red onion. You need it to be about the same size. Guys, so I'm just doing the exact same for the green capsicum. So I'm just going to cut the red onion and it's a little bit different to the capsicum and the two colours of capsicum and I'll show you what to do. Cut, um, I just cut this onion in half this way and then it just falls off like this. And this may be a little bit big, so I think I'm gonna cut it in half. Okay guys, so I've got all my things prepared and, I've, um, and I've, what I've done is I've got my skewers. These are bamboo skewers. You can use the metal ones, which are really good because they heat up inside and they, it's just really good if you use those. But if you only have bamboo skewers, really, really good tip if you're gonna put on the fire, soak it for at least three hours. Like soak it in water, the bamboo sticks, because then they'll burn on like fire. I accidentally forgot to do that. I forgot to um, leave it there, but then I s searched up on the internet and I found if you're using just your stove, 
it doesn't really matter to soak it. I soaked it for 30 minutes though. When I quickly got home, I was like, oh God, I forgot. So I soaked it for 30 minutes while I prepared everything else. So at least you soak it a little bit. But if you're going to put on a barbecue, you really need to remember to soak it or it's not going to work and it's, it, you're just going to ruin everything. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because I haven't soaked it for that long. Fingers crossed it works. So yeah, now let's get hey guys, on. Guys, so the camera lost its battery. So we had to, I just had to make them. And then look at these. Look how beautiful they are. I saved some of the um, onions and everything to show you how to make them. I get a bamboo skewer. And this is the order that I do and I make it. So first I do a green cup. Okay, so I've done my skewers and for today, and I'm only cooking three because it's just me and my mum today. And I'm going to use this grill that I have and I'm just going to put it on my burner. And I'm going to put some extra virgin olive oil. It doesn't have to be just vegetable oil. Any oil is good. And I'm going to turn on the heat and get the heat pretty high. Alright, so now I'm just going to place my skewers on my grill. And I'm going to cook it until the chicken is cooked and it's all charred. Alright guys, so um, with the leftover juices from the chicken, what I'm going to do is get the pastry brush. I'm just going to brush it over all of the ingredients so that they get a bit more flavour. Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it on four sides. And then now, as you can see, it's getting a bit of a char. I'm going to flip it on four sides and let the chicken cook. And it smells... So good in this kitchen right now. You guys have to make this recipe. All right, guys. So I'm just going to turn off the heat. As you can see, all four sides are nice and caramelized. Oh, my capsicum just fell off. Wait, let me put my leg on. Anyway, as you can see, all four sides are all charred and beautiful looking. I'm going to plate it up and I'm so excited to give it a try. Mm. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like, subscribe. Comment down below what else I should make in these two weeks of holidays. I really hope you enjoyed. Please make it because the smell of my kitchen is amazing. I can't wait to eat this for dinner. Please, please subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Like, comment. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye. That is so good. My God. I love you. <laughs> I think you should do it. <laughs> yeah, stop. There's nothing here for you. You want capsicum? Probably not. Mom's just in the background like, I'm like, can you go like subscribe? Thing? Are we? All right, so let me just show them. Let me show you. Oh, you're showing? Okay, so I just, let me show you. You, oh, you're showing? Okay, so I'm making I just, charred chicken, making charred chicken, I'm making charred chicken. Uh.